Okay, so it is just after 9 o'clock and today I'm going to be doing a wear test for the Hard Candy Cashmere Silk. So this was sent to me by the Hard Candy team and I was immediately impressed that they have a nude shade for very deep skin tones. That is a big plus because it drives me crazy when brands are like doing a line of nudes and the darkest nude is like this color. Anyway, as always, I will start by reading off what Hard Candy has to say about this lipstick and showing you the application process. So I'm having kind of a difficult time finding anything online about this lipstick, which is really weird. <laughs> I like can't even find it on the Hard Candy website yet. I don't know if they just haven't updated it or I need to clear my cookies or what, but I'm going to read this tweet is from the Hard Candy Twitter. It says, new cashmere silk demi matte creme lip colors are $6 and super comfortable on the lips. Wear them alone for a sheer natural finish or layered with lipstick. I also have the packaging that says, dare to bear with cashmere silk. Dress your lips in a demi-matte finish available in an array of creme neutral colors suitable for all skin tones. The hydrating silky smooth texture and teddy soft applicator will have you saying bye bye to your lip balm. Start by applying gloss in the middle of your lips and smooth outwards. So I'm glad that I read on their Twitter that this is meant to be a sheer product because I put it on like one layer and I was kind of like, eh, this is like not really as pigmented as I would want it to be. So then I put on a second layer which I do kind of prefer the look of. This shade that I'm wearing today is called Macaroon. It is fairly close to the natural shade of my lips, especially when it was sheer and just one layer. So I was kind of like, mm. I like my lips to be a little bit punchier than that, but I do appreciate a good like nude, very classic looking. My first like big complaint though, is that this says that it's a demi matte and it's very shiny. So I'm not sure if it's going to get more matte as it dries down, but I applied this like five minutes ago now and it's still very, very, very shiny for a... If you're gonna put the name matte into it, it should be at least, you know, believably a bit matte. This is in no way matte. But that is all I have for you right now and I will check in in a little bit. Well, that was quick. It is about 12.20, which means we have had three hours of wear I just ate lunch and that was kind of like the killing blow for this lipstick. During the three hours that I was wearing it, it remained very shiny the entire time. So I would not in any way call this a demi matte. I would call it a cream or even like a shine. I love a good shiny lipstick, but if you're going to call it matte, it should be matte. But I will have a full write-up review on the blog later today, lipstickaday.com, and I will see you next time.